Hi there, David here from DavidDemayAudio.com, and in this video, we'll be designing a bow and arrow sound effect. So welcome back to the channel. If you are a sound designer and you wanna create better sound effects, I have a little gift for you. It is my five layering techniques guide. It's a guide of different layering techniques that I use and other professionals use to create better sound effects. So if you wanna check it out, it's absolutely free. Links will be in the description below. All right, so I have a little clip ready here and prepared for you guys where we'll be designing a bone arrow sound effect from scratch. So let's jump into our project. All right, so here we are inside of Reaper. Let's just have a listen to the clip here. Uh, just a little short clip of uh, this character shooting at Bone Arrow. This is from the video game, Shadow of Mordor. Uh, so it's a, a Middle Earth game from Lord of the Rings. So let's have a listen and see if you can pick out different sounds that you, we might want to use for the game. And then we'll go back and I'll break down my redesign and see how we created it. Let's have a listen. One more time. All right, so there's three basic elements that I hear in the sound. One is there's like this wood crunching sound from the uh, bow being bent. There's obviously the release of the arrow where it flies through the air. And then there is the stretch and the pulling of the string as it tightens and tightens right before the release of the, of the bow sound. So those are the three basic elements. So let's have a listen here. Let's go through what I created here. So I have my shot here. So let's have a listen to what we got. All right, so that is the sound I created. Let's break down how I created that. So the first thing, like I said, was that I, I, that I started working on was the, the kind of the pulling of the string as the string gets tighter and tighter. And to do that, I actually just use one layer and it was this leather sound. So let's have a listen to it. I'm gonna turn off the effects here. Let's have a listen to the, the sample here just on its own here. All right, so this is just like twisting a leather jacket or something like that. And it just works perfect for this kind of pulling string sound. On here, I did add two plugins. I have the first one here is Manipulator. And you'll see here, I'm actually modulating the pitch, the format here a little bit, especially at the end, because I want it to, to feel like it's getting tighter and tighter, especially at the end. So right at the end here, you'll see I have this little increase, a uh, little, little rise in pitch. All right, so you just get that extra tension, that extra tension right there at the end. That's perfect. Then finally, recenter here. This is just to position the, the, the bow sound in this clip here. All right, let's move to the next layer now, which is gonna be the creaking of the wood. All right, the next one was kind of this wood layer. So I wanted this kind of like wood creaking layer. And naturally what would what you would wanna go for is some sort of wood sound. So that's what I did. I had recorded a bit of wood creaking sounds here. So let's have a listen to these. I'm gonna take off the, uh, the plugins I have on here. Right, and on its own, it sounds kind of weird, sounds kind of funny, like it doesn't really work. And maybe there could be some a better sample. Uh, you kind of kind of want to maybe play around with it. I was, I was kind of using this because I wanted to kind of uh, replicate the sound from the, uh, the original sound from the game, which kind of had this like rhythm to it and it's kind of like bouncy a little bit. So that's why I used this. But if you wanted to, you could use like some wood creakings, like if you're walking on a floor and it's creaking or something like that, that, that those could be samples that could work here. So let's have a listen to what I put on, put in on here in terms of plugins. All right, so the first thing I put on here was manipulator. And this here I'm using to increase some of the upper harmonics. And I also brought the ratio here all the way down. So it sounds like this now, a little bit subtle. Next, I did a de-reverb because I thought there was a lot of noise in this sample, uh, which, you know, when you're working with sounds like, like this, sometimes it's totally fine if there's noise. There's always a workaround. Sometimes you can add fade-ins, fade-outs. This time I decided to use a de-reverb. So let's have a listen to this. Right, it really gets rid of that ambient sound and it sounds a lot cleaner now. And you'll notice here, I'm modulating the reduction here a little bit and this is done through Reaper's parameter modulation. So I open this up right here and now I can modulate this parameter based on the audio signal. All right, next I have recenter, this is to position the sound in the stereo field. Transformer here to bring down a bit of frequency shifting. Let's have a listen. Just brings it down quite a little bit so it has a different character to the sound. Finally, a bit of an EQ here just to reduce some of the highs. So let's do a before and after. Let's listen to our two layers that we have together now. All right, so let's move on to the releasing of the arrow. All right, so for this layer, I really wanted to feel and sound like there was an arrow flying or swishing through the air. So a lot of these samples, I just created myself by recording different things, uh, swinging different things from my microphone. So I swung things like a clothes hanger, plastic tube, metal pipes, things like that. So this is the first layer here. There's not much happening here in terms of processing. It's a very clean sound uh, that I got. I uh, just put on recenter here just to position it. Next layer down here. Again, this is me swinging stuff in the front of the microphone and I just processed it inside of S layer. Just loaded a whole bunch of swinging sounds, randomized until I got some nice sounds that I really liked. And then this is how I got this sound here. Next one, same thing. I did, I processed in a similar way and this is the sound I got. Cool sound. I did add manipulator on here. So let's listen without it. With manipulator. It's actually, it doesn't need to be on. It's not even doing anything. Next, I have this sound here. Again, recenter just to position it. And that's it. Now with all these layers here, we have this. 
So it's a really harsh, aggressive sound that just feels like you have this arrow swinging and flying in front of you. So once we had these layers, I felt like I had most of my core sound in place. So let's have a listen, though I still felt like I was missing one more thing. And I'm going to share that with you guys in just a moment, but let's have a listen so far to what we have. So with that in mind, I thought it sounded pretty good, but I still wanted to have more of a punch when I released the arrow, so it was more satisfying. So that's when I created this shot impact sound here. So let's have a listen to this layer. There's this one down here, right? It's just a kick, just punches you right in the face. And then this one here, and this is just a glitch sound effect that I created using various glitch plugins, exported these sounds, and I just kind of layered it on here. So all together now with these two layers, and it kind of really hides well with the actual arrow shot sound. Yeah, so they just blend really well together. This impact sound is not in your face or anything. It's kind of a bit more subtle, but it, without it, it just it feels like there's something missing. And with it, it's just a bit more satisfying. So let's have a listen. All right, and now let's have a listen to the everything in context of the full mix here. All right, so that is how you can create your own bow and arrow sound effect. If you are interested in seeing a full redesign of this entire clip that I just designed right here, I'm actually gonna be posting it probably this week, a full redesign of everything from the Yurok voices, the ambiences, the bow and arrow sound effects, everything is gonna be in there. So make sure you check it out. And uh, if not, I'll probably leave it in the cards up there if it's already released so you can check it out if you're interested. So anyways, that's it for now. Thanks so much for watching. I hope you found the video useful and valuable. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments below and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.